this video is one that's helpful to watch before you watch pH because this is sort of the mathematical understanding of what's happening um, in solutions that gives us the concept of pH. So um, hydronium and hydroxide ion concentrations have to do with aqueous solutions. In order to understand this, you'll want to be very familiar with molarity, uh, what an acid and what a base is, and then how to write and understand an equilibrium constant expression. What's up with water? Well, it turns out that water actually reacts with itself in what's called an auto-ionization reaction. And since water is a pure liquid, we'll note the little liquid here, at equilibrium, we see water producing some H3O plus aqueous and, oops, and some hydroxide ion, also aqueous. We can take this reaction and write an equilibrium constant expression for it, remembering that KEQs will include aqueous and gaseous substances, but not liquids and solids. This is a special subcategory um, of equilibrium constant expressions. This is KW for water. And it's equal to my hydronium ion concentration and my hydroxide ion concentration multiplied together. So I've been using the word hydronium ion, that's this H3O plus um, substance here. We know what the KW value is. It's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. And so we can treat this as an algebra equation where we, if we know the hydroxide ion concentration and we're missing the hydronium ion concentration or vice versa, we can solve for the one that we're interested in. This equation also gives us some, some information about what's actually happening at equilibrium in water. We know that small equilibrium constants um, tell us that we have very small amounts of products. So in fact, at equilibrium, this reaction really favors the reactants. And so sometimes people will draw an equilibrium arrow with a longer side pointing to the side that's favored at equilibrium in terms of concentrations. We also know from this reaction that every time I make a hydronium ion, I also make a hydroxide ion. So in pure water, um, the concentrations of those of the hydronium and the hydroxide can be figured out using some algebra, and they come out to be 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh molar. And both of them are equal to that. And that is also the definition of a neutral reaction, excuse me, a, nu a neutral solution in which my hydronium ion concentration equals my hydroxide ion concentration. So that 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh is a good number to have in the back of your mind as we're talking about whether a solution is acidic or basic, because we'll be comparing hydroxide ion concentrations to hydronium ion concentrations. In addition, you'll want to remember this equation for exams, because we use it a lot. So who is the base? is the form of base that we find in water, and hydronium is the form of acid. So if we want to talk about whether a solution in water is acidic, basic, or neutral, we're talking about the relative amounts of hydroxide, or base, to the relative amounts of hydronium, or acid. So if I have an acidic solution, then I have more hydronium ion, more acid, than hydroxide ion. And if I'm talking about a basic solution, I have more hydroxide ion than hydronium ion. And if it's neutral, as we discussed in our past slide, then the hydroxide ion equals the hydronium ion concentrations. Let's take this out and these concepts out and actually try them out in an example. I have an aqueous solution that contains 5.69 times 10 to the negative fifth molar hydroxide. What is the concentration of the hydronium ion in the solution? And is the solution acidic, basic, or neutral? Hopefully we're picking up on the fact that, hey,
So 5.69 times 10 to the negative fifth molar goes in for hydroxide. And then I'm just going to do some algebra and divide both sides by 5.69 times 10 to the negative fifth so that I can isolate the hydronium by itself. And so my hydronium ion concentration, when I plug those numbers into my calculator and divide, ends up being 1.76 times 10 to the negative 10th molar. If you came up with 1.6 times 10 to something other than negative 10, it might be because when you're entering the number in the denominator right here in your calculator, you're forgetting to put that in parentheses. If you don't put parentheses around that number, your calculator might be thinking that it just should divide by 5.69 and then multiply by 10 to the negative fifth. But you want it to divide by 10 to the negative fifth as well. So putting parentheses around the whole thing can give you, um, save you some trouble later on. So here's my answer. I'm going to box it so that if I were doing this on an exam, it would be clear what the answer is. of exponents, the hydronium ion concentration is tiny compared to the hydroxide ion concentration, so we know that this solution is basic. Let's try a second example. What is the hydroxide ion concentration in the solution, which has a hydronium ion concentration of 3.59 times 10 to the negative 11th? Oops, I forgot my molar. Stick that in there. Is the solution acidic, basic, or neutral? Again, we need Kw and the relationship between hydronium ion and hydroxide ion. And I see that I've been given my hydronium ion concentration right here, so I can just plug it in to the equation and solve for hydroxide. I'll divide by so both sides by 3.59 times 10 to the negative 11th molar. So that I can cancel that out and get the hydroxide by itself. And once I put these into my calculator and solve for hydroxide, I get 2.79 times 10 to the negative 4th. I'm still paying attention to my significant figures, just like we have all quarter. Box your answer. And let's evaluate. Is this an acidic, basic, or neutral solution? Well, they're definitely, concentrations are definitely not equal, so it's not neutral. And my hydroxide ion concentration has an exponent of 10 to the negative fourth, while my hydronium ion, which is my acid, only has 10 to the negative 11th. So I have way more hydroxide than I do hydronium, and this solution is basic.